Hi, and welcome to this Digital Tutors Introduction to RealFlow 4 training kit. Now, throughout the course of this training kit, we're going to be looking at a lot of the key features of RealFlow that really make it such an amazingly powerful application, and we'll be teaching you how to use RealFlow with less wasted time and really with more efficiency. So we'll get started by talking about some basic particle properties and how we can uh, do some things as far as making particles interact with each other and interacting with the environment around them. Now once we have a good understanding of how these particles work and behave within the real flow environment, we'll start to put a lot of these pre principles to use as far as creating a small project. Now the project we'll be doing is filling a small glass with very realistic water. So being able to fill this up, get the nice splashing motion of the water, and all the things that go along with that. And by the end of our first project, we'll have a good understanding of exactly how all these different properties, as far as particle properties, demons, and meshes, all work together to form one single cohesive project. Once we've had a chance to look at some of the fluid properties of RealFlow, we'll take a look at how RealFlow can also be used to simulate things like gas. And specifically, we'll be looking at how we can simulate things like an open flame using RealFlow's gas solvers. Once we've had a chance to take a look at fluids and gases, we'll then move on to looking at elastics and how we can use elastics cr to create surfaces that can not only stretch, but can also break apart very realistically. Right now, once we've had a chance to talk about these different particles and how they work within real flow, then we'll start to move our attention on to soft body and rigid body dynamics. So we'll spend some time talking about each one individually, and then we'll look at how we can actually mix both soft and rigid body dynamics together within RealFlow to create very realistic simulations of solid objects behaving with gravity. Once we've completed that, we'll take a look at how we can use RealFlow to generate something called a wet map, which is basically just a black and white image that can show the uh, particle positions on certain objects. And using these wet maps, we can then take these back into our primary 3D package and then use those to very realistically simulate areas on our objects where the water has seeped into it or touched that object. We'll have a chance to look at real waves as well and looking at how we can uh, not only simulate open bodies of water, but also simulate the way that these different objects are able to um, interact and splash about within that open body of water of the real wave. And then finally, we'll take a look at how we can use real flow to simulate a water drop that's able to fall and realistically splash into a water container. And through that lesson, we'll take a look and explore how we can use real flow to get these very realistic liquid simulations. So with the water drop, the very realistic crown, the plume, and all the things that go along with that. So as you can see, we have a lot of material to cover over the course of the next few hours. So let's go ahead and get started.